Hi, tonight I'm reviewing Will Durant, The Greatest Minds and Ideas of All Time. So, he just kind of goes over like a lot of really great things over time. He like is a Pulitzer Prize winning historian. He made like the complete history of civilization. It took him like 40 years. So in all those years studying history and stuff he came across a lot of stuff and he kind of runs writes about his favorite things in this book like the 10 greatest thinkers 10 greatest poets 100 best books for an education 10 peaks of human progress and 12 vital dates in history to remember but the reason that I personally find this book valuable is for his 100 best books for an education. Now I haven't gotten any of these and read any of these, but it should be obvious to most people these days that college is crazy nuts expensive, like pretty much out of the realm of what's reasonable for anybody to afford now. I don't think that what you invest into it you get back from it anymore. I, I think times have changed. College education isn't as valuable as it once was. I mean, if there's a specific thing you need to do, and that's one of the steps to get there, then it would still make sense. And like the other day, I was hearing someone wanted to be a teacher. That not only makes sense because you need a degree for that, but you would actually be going to a place with a lot of people that have been teachers for a living that you could use as mentors. So that's like double a good reason to go to college. But for most people, it seems like it would be smarter to use a smaller amount of money, a lot smaller amount of money, and just travel the whole world and get experience and invest in yourself and make yourself a valuable person with lots of random knowledge and experience that would be of value to people. Maybe get some ideas to create your own thing or be someone that someone that's made their own thing would see as a valuable investment and want to include you in on what they're doing. But anyway, this hundred best books would be a cheaper way. <laughs> you wouldn't have to travel the world like he basically selects a hundred books that would give you a really, really broad general knowledge of things you basically know a little bit about most fields and like the most important facts to like make you you'd be able to represent yourself well and like talks with other people and you wouldn't be boring at parties or at networking meetings or whatever so he says for an average person with average reading speed it'd probably take about an hour reading a night every night continuously for four years straight to get through these hundred books. So you can see that's about the same amount of time as college except for it's only an hour a night instead of like a whole day of classes with tons of homework and papers to write. So I think that makes this book a very good investment, just that list all by itself. So that's why I would recommend this book. It was also a good book. It was a quick read and you kind of brush up on history a little bit and some good things. It's definitely something I plan on reading again in the future when I make it through all the books I want to read the first time. But that's the main reason I'm recommending it is for the 100 best books for an education list. So once again, this is The Greatest Minds and Ideas of All Time by Will Durant.